Hey, what's going on, guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3, running Retro Pi 3.7, and I wanted to show you the MSX emulator running on this unit. Um, the MSX was released in 1983 in Japan. I'm not sure when it came out in Europe, and I'm not even sure if this came to the States or not. There were several revisions made by different companies like Canon and Yamaha. And there was the MSX1, the MSX2, the MSX2+, Plus, the MX, MSX Turbo R. So there was a bunch, and I believe there were six revisions of the MSX. I'm probably wrong. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. But there were some really great games made for the MSX. The MSX was a keyboard console, like a... Tandy or a ZX Spectrum or a ZX Spectrum and it was it was a pretty big console Konami made a lot of really good games for this unit we're gonna get into it now and play a few games most of the stuff I have is MSX2 or MSX Turbo R or the 2 plus so first up we're gonna do the first Bomberman now this was for the MSX the original MSX and this is the original Bomberman. And a lot of people may have never seen this uh, game running. I'm using a SNES uh, USB controller. And my keys were set... Oh my gosh. My keys were set up when I... When I set up the... RetroPie for the first time. And the keys work... Got him. What the? F oh, God. Go, 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 bomber man. I'm not going to make it, guys. Wow. I've never had that happen by blowing up a chest. Um, I don't believe I've ever been able to blow up a chest before, but man, that really sucked. Ah! Oh well. Start select will bring you back out of the uh, MSX emulator back into the emulation station front end. Next, we're going to play Gradius 2, which was released for the. I want to say the MSX 2. I could be wrong. 512 bytes. So, this is another Konami game. Like I said, Konami made a lot of good games for the MSX. Okay, so this is Gradius, a really good uh, shoot 'em up game. Now we get our upgrades, and we can store our upgrades. So if I get this first one, if I used my upgrade, I'd have a little extra speed, but I kind of want to save it. So I'm going to upgrade to missiles right now. And I want to get a double shot, because when I get into the caves, the double shot helps out a lot. That'll kill everything on screen. Oh, and I missed it. There we go. Missile. Yeah, and I wasn't able to get my double shot in. These little guys... ...suck, man. Ah!
So I got a laser, which is pretty awesome. And I have my missile. Should have added a little bit of speed. Oh, I should have saved it. So I'm at double shot now with a missile. Come on. Be able to get that one without dying. There we go. These totem poles just keep shooting out. go back oh back to the laser oh well start select bring you out we are going to play vampire killer now this is not a complete remake or a complete port of castlevania this is kind of an adaptation of castlevania as you can see here We gotta go through and collect um, keys to open up doors and chests. As much as I thought this was, you know, Castlevania, it is. It does not play the same. The levels are not laid out the same. And I, oh, I do not know where to go. They gotta be coming from somewhere. There's one key. But I definitely recommend you try out some MSX games. You'll pro probably find something you really like. Sweet. Up with the shield. So there were literally hundreds of good games. And like many consoles, hundreds of horrible games for the MSX. A lot of the really good ones were made by, for the MSX, were made by Hudson. Hudson and Konami. So I have no clue where to go. If you guys want to try this out, go ahead. Try it down here real quick. Sometimes you just get into a spot where... Ooh, wings? I don't know. Start and select to bring you out again. And as you can see here, we got Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, Bomberman Gradius, King's Valley 2 is a really good game. But there are a lot of great games. I'm just going to start Metal Gear 1. Leave you with this. So, you know, if you're setting up a retro retro pie on your Raspberry Pi, I mean, why not add some MSX ROMs? Have some uh, really good old school games. If you're into the old school games, you'll probably love a lot of the stuff that was made for uh, the MSX. Most of the stuff that I have got is Japanese. It's in Japanese. There's not much of a story to 
to any of these games. Metal Gear had a decent story, but you may not need to, you know, read the text that comes on screen, and that's fine. Okay. I gotta find some ammo. Oh! I'm out of here. I'm just gonna go punch these guards in the face real quick. Oh god, they're coming for me. Oh yeah, these are like armored guards. Ah! Sweet elevator action. So I was hoping to find some ammo, but I'm out of luck there. That's it, guys. That's the MSX emulator running on the Raspberry Pi 3 with RetroPie 3.7. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you know more about the MSX and you just want to kind of show off, go ahead and leave a comment about it. I don't know much about it. I know it was a Japanese and European console. kind of wish we would have had it here. I would have liked to play this when I was younger. But uh, the game seemed to run really good on the Raspberry Pi with the RetroPie 3.7. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.